heard of our program today. Come up and introduce our program, Steve. Can I do it from right here? You may. Thank you. Uh, today, I have my privilege to have uh, Greg Hudson. He's the city manager here in Gilmer, and he's going to give us a little overview of the park renovations that we're hoping to get done. So, Greg Hudson. Everybody see that? Yeah. This. So, in addition to this, on your table, you've got the master plan uh, narrative as it relates to the parks here. Um, I do want to, the first thing out of the game I want to draw your attention to is page 19 on there. And page 19 has the estimated cost for everything that we want to do. Don't, uh, it's a little bit of a sticker shock when I saw it myself. Um, so, I think what we're going to have to do is, is uh, what we want to do to the parks here, we want to do it in phases. <clears throat> the parks that, okay, so let me just run down the parks. We've got Roosevelt, Abney, Well Run, it's a mini park. Um, you've got the city park and the Amber Reef grounds, and then you've got Lake Gilmer Park. Uh, the majority of the money for the parks will be spent on Abney Park, Roosevelt Park, and the Amber Reef Park city parks. Um, there's a little bit of a caveat as it relates to Abney Park. Um, this is about the third time I've come upon something, stumbled upon something. It's like, really? Uh, we don't actually own Abney Park. I don't know if you know that, but I found that out not too long ago. And uh, there's actually three parcels of Abney Park. We own a, the smallest section, which has nothing on it. And then uh, there was a parcel that Long before I got here, I think there was a Head Start building there, and uh, the taxes haven't been paid on that parcel since 2010, so I'm working with Linebarger, our uh, attorneys for delinquent accounts, to see what we can do. And then the other parcel, uh, which is the largest one, which has the basketball court on it, and everything is owned by the Northeast uh, District. Northeast District Baptist Association. And so we've had a discussion with them. Um, we'll see. I've already kind of mentioned to the mayor if we have to pay for that, we probably won't have that part. So uh, we'll see. We're trying to work with the 11 members of that association to see if we can get it donated to the city because the city has put money into it. Um, but we can't do that anymore since we don't own it. And spending tax money on that is not, it's a no no. So, uh, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how that fleshes out. Uh, but everybody is in support of the city having Abney Park. So, if you know anybody that has connections with the Baptist Association, then be sure and, and, and let us know so we can discuss it with them further. Uh, Roosevelt Park. Um, in page 19, I think we're going to spend a, a little over 400 and I think about 411,000 for the improvements in that park. There is a road going right through there, dead ends into the railroad track, and that'll be removed. Uh, there'll be walking trails put around there. Uh, I saw a butterfly garden. Um, and you'll see that on, on here as well in the, I'm gonna call it the main park, because with Abney and Roosevelt, that's about $800,000 roughly. This is where the majority of the funds will go, $7 million to um, improve the Yamboree and the City Park. I do want to make mention of it right now. Currently, we don't have this property here. That's owned by um, an individual, um, Mr. Collier, and we're working with him to buy that. It's about 12 and a half acres that we're going to add to the park. Uh, of course, it's all that's wooded. And uh, that's where we're looking at having the walking trail system in. Uh, there will be exercise stations there as well. Pavilions. So, all this, in addition to that, all this green, these are the baseball, softball, obviously, these are the soccer fields. We're going to keep the tennis court because that doesn't, it's a, a very low cost option to have. And the more, the more things we have in the park, like we've got, um, of course, everybody's talking about the splash pad, we've got a volleyball court, we've got horseshoe pits. <coughs> 
the more activities you have in a park, the more points we get with the Parks and Wildlife. And what that means is we get grant money. Uh, and so a park, we're going to ask, I've already talked to the Parks and Wildlife, each of these quad parks are about almost a million, not quite a million, but uh, with a dump, with a, a grant for 500000 and with donations for each one of them. I'm going to... I'm just joking, okay, so don't, you're going to have to edit this out. I'm fine with calling this Godarzy Park and this Halliburton. So those were the two 500,000s that are going to come from. I'm just kidding, but I'm going to ask you. It doesn't hurt to ask. If you don't ask, you're not going to get it. So I think I've heard asking you, can you shall receive? We'll see if we receive from them. But anyway, um, really it's... Uh, what has been drawn up here is really kind of exciting. You'll notice we're going to have a, uh, a, another entryway off Cherry Street. I know there's only two, pretty much, from 271. So we'll have the Cherry Street. And then over here, you notice there's a lot of work being done on the activity center as it relates to the Yamboree. And that's going to be, let me see here. i got to get my bearings here. Yet the Embry Activity Center here, so this is going to come up, but it's also going to come around over here. So that's the third one. We'll have four entry and exit for ingress egress into the park. So get traffic out quickly, quicker, quickly. <coughs> excuse me. And um, if you notice here, these little green dots here in the parking lot, those are where we'll be doing some landscaping where there'll be trees there, so it's not just black asphalt that you see. We really want to kind of beautify. I mean, you can only make a footprint with asphalt all over it. There's not much you can do, but with trees and all that, that's going to really help it out. Um, let's see here. The Yamboree grounds are right here. This is an existing soccer field. We'll keep that as well. Um, and then, let's talk financing. $7.8 million. Again, I'm not going to go to council. I promised the mayor I would not go to council. Uh, in, the, in the booklet that out there, it talks about taxes uh, being a source of funding, but I'm not going to council to fund the improvements that are needed on the parks. It'll be three ways, donations, grants, and the sales tax. Right now, our sales tax, more than, I don't know if you know this, but our sales tax goes to paying off Lake Gilmer. 85% of our sales tax. 15% is, is allocated to capital projects like streets. Well. What we got last year at sales tax, which is the most that we've got before, I think it was like 1.2, 1.3 maybe million in sales tax. 15% uh, of that wouldn't even pay for the improvements that you see on Cypress Street. So that doesn't go very far. But I was looking this morning, we can call the bonds in July 2021. And I was looking at our current balances, bonds in EDC, and I think it was about one point. 1.8 million in total, the CDs, the cash on hand and everything. Well, in three years, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, in three years our payoff will be about 2.8 million. So we might have enough money to pay those bonds off. We'll see. The big key though is to be now and then really, really, really ramp up economic development. The city can't do much as it relates to spending dollars on economic development, but we can talk with businesses in the area, talk with businesses outside of the area. The Industrial Foundation is helping with economic development. I do want to mention that 74 acres were feet for less was that. Um, that is on the uh, SWEPCO AEP website under their economic development page. And uh, they're going to help us market that property to hopefully one or two large tenants there. And so, um, you know, we just do what we can with what we've got. And uh, um, I don't think, while we are constrained, um, that doesn't mean we can't uh, see the potential here in Gilman realized. And this is a big part of it, obviously, and with the Embry Activity Center, there's just, you're gonna see a whole lot more activity in this area. Um, on a side note to the park, um, I did talk with a couple of individuals with, and uh, I'll just make, give a shout out to Danny that sent me that information as it relates to Hotel Motel back there. Um, 
they liked it. They said there's something here that we can do. And so who knows? Uh, with the activity center and the improvements in the park and hotel, uh, that's going to be a, a destination point for people outside of the city. Having said that, I'm going to open it up for questions and answers. Yes, sir. <coughs> probably talking phases. What would you More than likely, it, it, yes, in, in, the, on, in that book there, there's actually two phases, phase one and phase two. Um, phase two goes all the way out to 2028, I believe it is. And so, yes, there'll be phases, but we, there might be, it just, it just depends on the funding. Um, you know, we're going to, the plan is to refund the EDC debt in July of 2021, get that ball rolling maybe pay that lake off with the monies we have at the time. And then there's two things we'll, actually there's two things I'd like the council to consider at some point in EDC is that uh, so much goes towards the park that we, I'd like to see some of that sales tax money be used, reinvested in the city to bring businesses here and incentivize them with the sales tax to come into Gilmer and bring jobs with them, bring sales tax and such as that. So. The, the refunding won't just take care of the park, but I'm hoping it will give us money to do economic development here. And I'm going to say in collaboration with the Industrial Foundation, because if it wasn't for them, I mean, we really wouldn't have much going at all. Uh, so shout out to the Industrial Foundation as well. Um, so yes, it, more than likely, it'll be done in phases. I'd say if I was betting, I'd bet on that. I know there are at least one individual I know that would like to see it all done at once. So, you know, yes? Do you have any small projects that groups of teenagers could help with? As it relates to, as it relates to this? Um, like landscaping? You know, I'm going to, I, I, I'm going to say yes, but I'm not the person to speak to what those projects are. That would be Brian Rogers and our, we've, we've already got a parks employee. Uh, and it would be that, that lady as well. So I'd say yes, but I don't know what those projects are. I just need a contact for that person. Okay, I'll get, I'll get your information and, Thank you. and we'll send it to you. Yes, well, ma'am. Will the existing playground remain or is that going to be moved? That's going to be moved as well. To another area? Um, let me see where it's at here. I couldn't see it on there. So the existing <laughs> playground, I believe, is right in here. And over here, where next to the next to the um, to the splash pad is the playground as okay. well. So the structure will be somewhere. Right now, I'll be honest. Uh, as I've been reading other cities' issues with with uh, splash pads, um, right now our splash pad would be the water coming in and going out. It's not being mm -hmm. recycled. But if you recycle it, you run into issues if you don't treat it. Mm -hmm. And there are waterborne. Uh, issues created so the only kids are getting sick because the water's not being treated correctly so you know we have to weigh do we want that or just you know have the water go in and go out into the creek I don't know yet water so fields. yeah okay. but uh, I'll be honest with you I think the splash pad should and probably will be the last improvement to the park because we need to get those ball fields done first, uh, get people coming here from out of town, spending their money here, love them to spend their money here. And so probably the splash, the splash pad will be the last improvement for the project for this whole park, which means it could be a while before it gets done. I think Kilgore spent around 400000 on their park. Now, when um, we were at lunch yesterday, David and I were talking with the fire chief over there for more city and uh, it sounds like it's going great over there they're really getting a lot of use out of it and so you know we'll just have to weigh that when we get to that point so any other questions yes sir uh, I live in Longview um, I'm sorry what's driving <laughs> <laughs> it's been three out of seven days up here in <laughs> What's driving a Long Beach Park program is uh, kind of based on a uh, how many acres of parkland there should be for the area of the city and the population. Uh, what what is uh, Gilmer's uh, 
situation that, that we're Well, doing. I think with this 12 acres that we're getting ready to buy, we'll have like upper 70, 78, 79 acres of parkland just for this one. Uh, I don't know what those numbers are for a city our size. I've not come across anything like that. And, and I don't, uh, to my knowledge, we didn't operate that way as far as, yeah, we got to buy 12 more acres or anything. We're just wanting to, to do more with the Emory Park and, and to have more activities going on there. I think um, that's just a guide. It's not a... Yeah, I, I have not come across anything like that. Right. Um, I do want to make a comment about this... Um, these exercise stations. Uh, I was in Arlington one weekend, and uh, my wife and I were walking the dog, and we came. Uh, we were walking through this park, and they had senior citizens exercise stations. You know where you? And it was called. Uh, I don't know. It was, like when you see them on TV doing their tai chi, tai chi, well, these exercise machines mimic that. You know, with the joints and everything like that. And it wasn't like weights they're doing, but it was just trying to keep. The senior citizens limber, I guess, their joints look and all that going. And I thought that was pretty good because I think it's over half of the population of Gilman is over 55. And so having an exercise station that 55 plus people like me could use, uh, I think it, it speaks to the needs of the, of the citizens here in, in, in Gilman. And so, um, so that's what we're looking at doing on, on, the, on the exercise stations. So, so anyway. But it really is. I'm, I'm very optimistic. This is really going to be cool when it gets done. It really is. <coughs> and, and it'll be worth the investment. <coughs> Any other questions? Yes, sir. This is kind of, kind of a forethought. Is there going to be like someone designated to take care of the maintenance on these places? Well, we've got one right now. But she's being used all throughout the city. Uh, yes, there will be a parks. Uh, parks, grounds, supervisor, or person, or whatever. Right. There will be a designated individual. But I mean, part of the problem now with what we've got is because of this total lack of land. Yeah. yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. One of the things that I always say, if we can get enough money coming from the parks just to pay for the individual, then I'll be, I'll be happy with that. Because obviously, the parks, are, are not money makers for the city budget, but it, it, it adds tre tremendously to the quality of life. And, and I haven't seen any, what are the indirect benefits of a parkway? You're going to bring people into town and spend their money, which raises their sales tax and all that. Uh, and, and it's a quality of life issue. It's a critical quality of life issue. Um, of course, there are other quality of life issues that we have to address as well, like the health care situation here, no hospital and all that. So we're doing the best we can with that, but we've got a ball rolling on that. I got to get a 24-7 care facility here. So, you know, um, eventually Gilmer is it's going to be, I think it's going to be jumping leaps and bounds, but uh, I'll probably be retired by then. I don't know. Who knows? And, and David could be the next president of the Rotary or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm done. If, if, any more questions? I'm done. Thanks. Thanks, Greg. We appreciate your efforts and the city's efforts, in spite of Jim, to get this thing taken care of. Jim and I go back a long way. He says I used to be about 30 years older than he, but now it's only a few. Uh, what happened in the one, two, three doors down from right. from the for for ten was raised. Okay.